Welcome to 1124 Valley. This beautiful home moved to its current location from Warwick, Georgia. It was built by the famous Edward Basin Jones. Just do a little spin around here. Got a gorgeous parking pad here in the front with pea gravel. Stately com columns on the exterior. Let's take a look inside. All right, here we are in the beautiful entryway. This foyer really doubles as an extra living space. It's so large. You'll immediately notice the handsome moldings, custom curvature in the walls. This is something that Edward Basin Jones was known for, but you've got these beautiful arch details throughout the home. This is the bedrooms um, down this hallway here, looking back toward the front door. These stairs lead upstairs to the fourth bedroom. And first we're gonna see the dining room. So there was once a door here that um, I believe is in the attic, I'm not sure, but um, you can close off the dining room from the foyer. Beautiful dining room. This is one of the three fireplaces. Also wanna note these beautiful herringbone brick floors. Another view of the dining room here. You've got the gas logs in the fireplace. Also the custom draperies do stay with the home. Next, we're gonna see the kitchen. Brick floors run throughout the kitchen space. You've got stainless steel appliances, side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer. You've got a pantry here to my left. Another arch detail here in the kitchen. You've got gorgeous cabinetry, marble countertops, beveled tile backsplash, double ovens, gas range. This home has it all. Love these marble countertops here. Just off this room is the laundry slash sitting room. You've got one small step down here. I believe this part of the house was in addition to the original property because you can see the exposed brick wall here um, in this detail. This room has shiplap walls. This is the washer and dryer connection here. There's also a sink in this closet. And you've got French doors matching on the front and the back. So this is the front <laughs> and the back. Um, this has like a nice patio off of this side, so perfect for grilling. And then looking back towards the kitchen there. Next up, we're gonna head into what was the breakfast room. You've got a chandelier. The current owner uses it as a beautiful sitting room. It's got built-in bookshelves. So this is really a flexible space. You could use it as a dining space, as a sitting area, and a home office. Really the possibilities are endless. I love these built-in bookshelves. And again, the light in this house is incredible. These windows are huge. Again, the brick floors run throughout this space as well. Next up is the half bath. All these doors are just, they're incredibly wide and heavy and solid doors. Beautiful powder bath. This beautiful wallpaper was added just a few years ago. You've got a custom um, antique vanity with a marble top here. And a window, plantation shutters again, and the brick floors. Next up is the family room. So as we enter the great room or the family room, you really cannot capture how beautiful this room is on this video and just how large a space it is for this age house. Um, again, this home was moved um, from its original location in Warwick on the slab. And it's just, I mean, it's amazing that this age house is as in good a shape as this house is. I mean, it's just super solid. This is a bar that was added into the closet here. Let me see if I can zoom out. And you can see the symmetry of these two doors. So they have um, a hidden kind of bar there. This is the second fireplace, also has gas logs there as well. And you can see the wood panel detail that Edward Basin Jones was famous for. 
in creating these custom moldings as well. Looking back towards the foyer, out onto the beautiful patio space. Before we head over to the bedrooms, just want to note all the closet space in this home. You've got some wonderful built-ins in the closets and there's uh, two additional closets in the hallway up next as well. And there's another closet here, a linen closet. We're going to come into this room last. This is um, what I call the red room. It's one of the bedrooms. First up is a bedroom here. This one is just beautiful, light and bright. You've got a closet here to my left. This one has an ensuite bath and a second closet. This one has the tub shower combination. Beautiful sink as well. And again, a nice big window there. Next up, the master bedroom. Before we head in the master, this is another big closet here. Another closet. Again, just the closet space for this H house is incredible. It's a very nice big bedroom here. This one has the walk-in closet with custom built-ins. And you've got the pull-out drawers on the left there. You've got built-ins. Plenty of room for a king size bed. And you've got two large windows here into the ensuite bath. This one has the shower and pedestal sink and is connected back to the um, red room or study. Just behind the door here, you've got some additional storage for the bathroom. And so this, if you used it as a bedroom, would have access to this bathroom here but it was the original, um, it was a wonderful study for this owner. And you've got some nice big windows and two closets in this room. And also the third fireplace. You've got a beautiful um, surround on this one as well. And I will note that the red paint is the original paint from when the house was moved. This is just a beautiful deep red um, that really just goes with the historical integrity of this home. Also a beautiful view of the, the back courtyard here. Next, we'll see the upstairs bedroom. Here we are back in the foyer and just wanted to show the view of the stairs. The stairs have a nice um, kind of shallow incline, so they're very easy steps. They are not steep at all. And you've got a nice big landing here at the top of the stairs. This is a walk-in attic I'll show you next is the walk-in attic upstairs and it really goes all the way around so you have wonderful storage and then additional storage there as well so here we are upstairs it's a large bedroom you've got built-ins one closet here there is a door to this bedroom space here as well you've got two dormers with built-ins but a wonderful big room perfect for teenagers or long company coming to stay with their own guest suite it has the ensuite bath marble countertops have been updated in this bathroom you've got a skylight this is the brick detail from one of the chimneys downstairs and then this is a large walk-in closet again just the the storage space in this house and then you've even got a little bit more storage there as well and it is a stand-up shower with a small linen closet here. So coming back through the foyer and through the great room, we're gonna head outside, but I just also wanted to note the ceiling height. You're a little over 10 and a half foot ceilings. I think it's 10, six. Um, but it's just beautiful ceiling height throughout this home. Next, we're gonna go out the back door and take a look at this magical backyard. Here we are on this beautiful covered back porch. I love the Moorish designs of these arch details here. Just makes it feel so magical. Coming out into the 
perfectly designed patio space. You feel like you're miles away. Somewhere in Italy or England. You've got a gorgeous fountain here. The landscaping was well established and done by the previous owner. Another view. This building was added, again, in perfect symmetry. It's a storage building workshop. The roof is a slate roof. It was new when they moved the house. I think it was 91. And I um, just had to show another view of this porch because it's just so beautiful. You've got irrigation. You can see the perfect symmetry of the brick walls on the sides here, kind of creating different zones of the yard for entertaining. I think this yard could be used for a play space if needed. You could even fence the side yard in here. There's that grilling patio I mentioned before. You've got a really nice privacy buffer along. This is kind of a drainage area on the side there. We'll walk towards the back. It's so around to the gardening area back here in the back. This is all kept natural. The property is a little over three acres. Um, it's got it goes way far back. It's got a, a city maintained pond on the back side, but they just kept the backyard natural. They removed some of the trees a couple years ago. Um, and just beautiful spot. This is the man cave area here. The workshop has a um, little window unit. It's just a true retreat. One more look at this beautiful yard. Welcome home.